What's up everyone, back playing some more of What Remains of Edith Finch, and I find that so hard to say really quick, Edith Finch, <laughs> um, but this game is still phenomenally beautiful, absolutely love it. So we have Fort Sam and Fort Calvin. Calvin is the one that died, I'm pretty sure. I knew Grandpa Sam had a twin. Oh, I don't want to take I don't want to take it off okay so we've got the command center so Calvin wanted to be a spaceman and Sam liked everything military that's what I get from this or everything hunterish maybe oh, okay yeah I'm gonna say hunting and that he never talked about him um on the steam oh what do you call it the store page it does say that it is recommended for you to play uh, this game with a controller and I guess that just makes like all the secrets where you have to actually pull and push and turn and stuff I guess it just makes all that easier I just want to have a little quick look to see if there's any more interactive things oh wait that's another book oh that's another padlock okay so we'll go up these we'll go up the stairs so much detail oh it's so nice i guess my grandpa didn't like history any more than my mom did oh this is amazing how i want to remember my brother by sam finch the thing i remember is that when he made up his mind that was it My brother said he'd die before he ate another mushroom. And he did. At Barbara's funeral, we swore he'd never be afraid again. And he wasn't. I think Calvin always wanted to fly. Stop! Calvin! Get us ready! Coming! But that day, he finally made up his mind to do it. Okay, I can kind of sway, but I'm not sure exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. Unless I just keep going, keep like swinging and swinging. I am playing with this with mouse and keyboard. It did say that it would probably be better to play it with a controller. I wonder if I just have to keep going. Oh, this is making me feel sick. I told him going around was impossible. Maybe if I hadn't said that. Calvin, I'm not gonna tell you again. Maybe right, if the wind hadn't picked up. Oh no. And maybe he'd still be here. But I doubt it. You I can think see he's already made up his mind. That's what I want to remember about my brother. Oh no! The day he made up his mind to fly. And he did. and so emotional. Please put the visor back down. Calvin's story felt strangely familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. Oh, okay, so we have Odin, Calvin, and Molly. Oh, can I put the can I put the visor back down? Oh, I love the paintings on the uh, bits of wood. Okay, so after that the was funeral, Edie roped off Calvin's half of the room. Oh, that makes sense. That's why they're... Oh, yes. Okay. Can I put it back? I feel kind of bad just leaving it hanging Mom down. Mom said Grandpa Sam enlisted at 18 and never set foot in the room again. Oh, so he was... Okay. Oh, this is cute.
this house is so freaking badass. The passages were a pretty tight fit. They'd obviously been built for smaller hands and bellies. Oh, this is the little this is the little hallway. Okay, cool. Kind of know where we are. Oh, this is the hallway. Oh, okay, awesome. Maybe that is the way that we get out. So let's go. This is so... F oh, yes! Barbara's room. Can I get out? Okay. Hmm. Growing up, I always thought of Barbara as a child star. This is awesome. Oh, look, she had her own little doll and everything. Oh, nice. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, so we climb back in to get out. This is awesome. That's so cool. What can we touch? I never thought about how hard it must have been for her afterwards. Of all the stories people wrote about Barbara's death, I'm surprised Edie saved this one. Oh, Jack here with another ghastly tale inspired by America's most unfortunate family. I'm calling it the surprise ending of Barbara Finch. Oh, that's As a creepy. child star, Barbara was famous for her scream. <whistles> now at 16, she was all washed up. A has-been. But in a lucky break, she'd been asked to perform her signature scream at a local convention for monster movie fans. It was just the boost her career needed. Unfortunately, her scream hadn't aged well. <laughs> Getting better. I think you just need the right motivation. Her biggest fan and current boyfriend, Rick, was about to demonstrate when... <laughs> now that was a great scream. It was Barbara's father, Sven. He'd slipped into a table saw and had to be rushed to the emergency room. So Barbara got stuck babysitting her youngest brother, Walter. Her convention comeback was cancelled. Okay, I'm hearing frustration, but I'm not hearing terror. What if I tried... A gang of hoodlums and Halloween masks have been terrorizing Orcas Island tonight. Police are urging residents to... You're right! Also, I loved your delivery on that. Why is your basement door locked? Because my dad likes making puzzles and secret passages. There's a key hidden in the music box. The secret is to keep winding and winding until finally the key pops out. Thanks, babe. I'll be back in a sec. 20 minutes later, Rick hadn't returned. So Barbara went to look for him, right on cue. She reached for the music box. And as she wound the key, she listened for Rick, but the house was silent. Okay, this bit is interactive. Oh God. And imagine the worst. What the hell? Don't tell me this is all like it was a prank to get her to scream and she actually ended up dying. That's creepy. The gang's leader is the infamous hookman killer, Dr. Carl Hamill, who impaled and then ate his family ten years ago tonight.
This is so creepy. just trying to scare you to help you find your scream. Well, I'm not scared, Rick. I'm furious. Then act furious. All I'm getting from you now is that you're hurt and confused and you She threw him out, but she kept a little something to remember him by. Barb, have you seen my other crutch? And she was still holding it when she fell asleep watching the late, late picture show. Hours later... Barbara! Walter, what's going on up there? Ah! Okay, I'm coming up. But if this is a trick, you're dead, Walter. Oh, yes. This bit's interactive, but this is... This is so crazy, it's nuts. Absolutely love this. Oh. What room was his? Walter, are you there? Walter he vanished, but his bedside radio was still on. Orcas Island police described the man as six feet tall with a steel hook for a hand. Residents are urged to lock all doors and windows and notify the police of any suspicious activity. Oh. Barb returned, saw the hook man, and <gasps> was speechless. He was quite smashing. <laughs> and the irony was, he couldn't get enough of Barbara. Okay, Barbara, there's got to be another way out of here. That night, she played her part beautifully. This is so freaky. Stairs and see him, guys. This is so. This is so creepy. I'm in a comic book and I'm playing the character. He's gone. He's totally gone. The hook man had vanished. She listened for his breathing, but all she heard was. Oh God. Inside the house. Oh, great. <gasps> oh, dear. Surprise! Bravo, Barbara. You were wonderful. The monsters had come to surprise her. Oh. For Barbara, it was a dream come true. Then she saw what kind of monsters they were, and she realized what was about to happen. She was going to be famous. And with her final breath, Barbara Finch gave the performance of her life. I wasn't there myself, but I hear Barbara was magnificent. Poor girl. She had a taste for stardom. But unfortunately, so did her fans. Of course, the police blamed it all on poor Rick, who disappeared the same night. And little Walter, 
hiding under his bed the whole time. He took it all pretty hard. But that's another story. As for Barbara, tucked inside the music box is all they ever found of her. Her ear. Now that's what I call a real eerie tale. <laughs> what the hell did I just freaking read? Edie told me all Barbara wanted was to be remembered, as absurd as that comic was. Maybe what Edie saw was a happy ending. What the hell? Okay, so her, her fans ate her? And what was left of her was in the freaking music box? Which is where we have to go. We have to go downstairs. We have to turn the music box so many times until the key comes out. Um... I slightly don't want to do that. Oh, is that a cookie? Okay. So now we know how uh, Barbara died. I seriously, honestly cannot get over the detail in this game. It's so beautiful and I really want that clock. That's awesome. Okay, right. Before we go down and to the music box, I am going to leave this video here. So we found out how Calvin died. And I'm pretty sure it was Calvin because Sam wrote the letter. But thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I will see you in the next episode. Take care. Bye.